All right, hey, this is Jay Sones. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick tutorial on how to create your first script. Uh, and we're gonna start with mining, okay? So basically what you do is open up Razor, okay? Under the general tab, we're gonna create a new profile uh, and we're gonna just call that uh, mining, okay? What this does is it basically saves all the options that we're gonna make under this mining profile, okay? I'm gonna click the use smart always on top so it stays here. Um, and then we're gonna, first step is to go over to the uh, scripts tab and just say new and we're going to call this one mining test okay uh, what i'd like to do is i like to use overhead messages so overhead open uh open comma not comma quote and say uh mining okay and then click save and if you hit play look you've scripted you're done done i'm gonna walk away now congratulations you've all learned a lot um, instead, we're going to go ahead and try to try to help you guys out. Um, so basically, what we want to do is we want to double-click our pickaxe, right? And then click ourself. Because what that does is it attempts to mine in an area around us. Okay? So as you can see, I have manually did it, but let's do that by a script. So basically, there's some cool features you want to use, and it's called hockey. Hockey, you use item in hand. Okay? If I save this and run it again, it actually clicked my pickaxe for me and it created the cursor, right? So what do I want to do next? I want to make sure that I use that hotkey after waiting half a second on myself. Target self. Okay. And if I hit save and I play this, it's mining. Okay. That's it. And now if I want to loop, which I do, I want to first wait two seconds because it takes two seconds to mine. Okay, actually, it takes a little bit longer than that, so we're going to take two and a half seconds. So what this does is it mines. Use item in your hand. Wait 500 seconds. Or, I'm sorry. Wait half a second. Target yourself. Then wait 2.5 seconds. So, uh, that's it. You can technically be done. This is all you need. Um, and then, if you wanted to, you can set a hotkey here. So you just click set hotkey, and then you type in your key. Uh, so I'm going to say over to write and then I hit set, okay? So now when I'm in the game, all I have to do is hit right on my keyboard and it attempts to start mining, okay? If that's all you need, you're done here. Goodbye, you can leave. Um, however, I'm gonna make this better because the one thing I don't like about the way this is set up, stick with me if you're still here, is first of all, it assumes there's a pickaxe in your right hand. Second of all, what happens when there's no more ore to mine, right? We're gonna find out. I'll let that mine. I'm gonna speed it up here. All right, we're back. Uh, there is no more to mine here, right? So it's it's uh, attempted to keep mining. It doesn't see any more resources. So the trick here is we want to actually check that message, okay? And if you look at your journal, these are all system messages, okay? System dash blah blah blah. So there's actually a little feature in Razor that you can say, hey, if in sys message and then you get to type in kind of a keyword that you want to search for right and so do not see any is what we're going to look for and then we're going to say end if okay so this basically says the loops targets ourself if we if the in system <laughs> message says hey you don't see anything uh then we're gonna overhead stop mining okay so let's just see we're gonna hit play see if that works stop mining okay but wait a minute, it didn't stop. Okay, this is where another macro comes in. So we're going to click new, a new Razor script, and we're going to say uh, escape um, script. Okay, and in escape script, we're just going to say overhead done. Done for now. Save. Okay, so this is a script name, escape script. Okay. So we're going to go back over to mining test. And instead of saying overhead stop mining, we're going to say script, escape script. Okay, and I'm going to run it again. Mining. Oh, and I'm done for now. Okay, and so now my loop is gone. Because once you execute another script, it exits the loop. Um, the reason why I have this on my uh, its own script is because we're going to go back over to exit script. And we're going to set a hotkey for there. And we're going to hit up set yes okay 
Now basically, I have a right arrow key is mining, and then up is to escape a script. The reason why you want your own escape script on a hotkey is because if the capture code comes up, you need to exit the macro that's running, okay? Otherwise, you're going to get stuck in a loop where you're trying to answer the CAPTCHA and your mining is going to mine again, and then you're going to miss it, and then if you miss it too many times, you get a lockout on resource gain. So, you need to be here to mine, and it's nice to have a escape hotkey script. That way, if the CAPTCHA comes up, you click the ground, and you hit the key, okay? Um, and then you answer the CAPTCHA, and then you just click right again, and it goes away. Um, to again, to give you an example, we're just going to move over a couple and hit our mining. Look it, and it's going to mine here until it's all done. That's it. Oh, wait, there's more. There's one more thing you can do to make this better. Do you want to know why? Because we're using the use item in hand hotkey. Okay, so it assumes we have a pickaxe, but eventually your pickaxe is going to break. So what can we do to, to fix that problem? Uh, while that mines, we can go ahead and go over here to the arm dress tab. Okay. We're going to say add, and we'll name this pickaxe, okay? And then what we want to do is we want to add a target. Oh, but I can't because I'm scripting. So let me go ahead and stop that script. Back over to arm dress, click pickaxe, add target. We're going to choose our pickaxe, okay? And what that did is it chose this very specific pickaxe. There's one pickaxe here. Notice how I have another one in my backpack. If I leave this as is, it's only going to try to equip this one pickaxe, which we don't want. So we want to right-click this and say Convert Selected to Type. Okay. And then that changed it. Instead of having the item ID, it's just, I'm sorry, the specific item ID, it just has this pickaxe item ID type. Anyway, so uh, what, what's nice about this is now we can undress and dress the pickaxe. So we're going to go back over to our script. And where it says use item in hand, before that we want to say if right hand empty, question mark, question mark, zero. And if, okay? So if our right hand is empty, we're going to say dress pickaxe and wait two and a half seconds for it to dress, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pickaxe off just so we can test this, okay? See, it's in my backpack now. So here's my script. I'm going to go ahead and just hit the right arrow on my keyboard, because remember we set that as a hotkey. Boom. Mining. Yeah, equip the pickaxe, and it goes back to mining. Gain a skill. All right, cool. Anyway, that's pretty much it. So let me know if you guys need anything else. Uh, obviously, I'm a new player. I started, I started playing uh, early January, so I'm about two months in. I've been loving this game. It's amazing. I'd like to give back to the community. Um, so if there's any other scripts or tips or whatever a new player can give another new player, uh, just let me know in the comments or on Discord, and I'll try to help you out.